Hey guys, if you've seen my other videos in Iraqi Kurdistan, you're gonna know already this is a crazy beautiful place. But what could be the most beautiful place in a land that's just full of beautiful places? Could it be this? Or maybe even this? Close, but not quite. But in this video, we're gonna set out to find what's supposed to be the most beautiful secret viewpoint in Iraqi Kurdistan. A place that I was told I mustn't reveal the location of, but I'm certainly gonna show it to you. We'll travel north from Erbil, and there'll be some breathtaking landscapes on the way. Travelling through the Zagros Mountains and the area of Barzan, we'll visit the stunning Shanidar Cave with its Neolithic history, along with the ancient city of Acre, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. It's going to be beautiful all the way, so come with me on a journey. It's absolutely beautiful where I am now, stunning landscape, but as I understand it, this would have been completely flooded. In Saddam Hussein's time, he was going to build the biggest dam and lake in the Middle East. He was going to completely flood Barzan area. Thankfully, he was removed from power before he got the chance to do it. Or I'd be in a boat right now, rather than this incredible landscape. I'm currently walking up to Shanadar Cave in the Zagros Mountains. It's absolutely stunning around here, beautiful scenery. But this cave in itself is particularly important. There was an archaeological discovery by a US professor who was excavating the site of Neanderthal bodies. These skeletons dating back 60 to 80,000 years. Now, the original thought was this was actually their home they were living in the cave. But they did further excavation of the site. Basically, the, the opinion changed to the thought that it was actually a cemetery for them. You know, someone was carried up there to be buried. So we're going to have a look at the, uh, the cave and, well, I'll show you the scenery as well because it's just breathtaking. That was really hard work. Those steps are steep. That was, that was tough. I can hear and see below there's a tour bus coming. Almost certainly local tourists. Good just to beat them up here. It's going to take them a little while unless they're fitter than me. Which to be honest isn't that hard. I'm really out of breath now. Here we are at the excavation site itself, where a total of 10 Neanderthal skeletons have been found over the years, along with stone tools and animal bones. In this beautiful location by the river in the middle of nowhere, northern Kurdistan, near the Turkish border, I found the best meal I've tried so far here. This is going to be a nice lunch today down by the river and basically got the healthy option. It's healthy because it's fish. We've got a nice salad here as well and this is Iranian bread. Oh that's lovely actually, that's lovely. That's delicious. Lovely delicate white fish with lovely flavour from the frying. Okay, the frying part isn't so healthy, but still, it's fish and salad. That's, uh, that's strange, this bread. Bubbly. Would you normally put the, the fish in the bread? Yeah, some yeah. people they do, yeah. Some people, not you? Yeah, no, not me, no. Look, let's make a sandwich of it. Why not? Mmm. Yeah. That is really, really tasty, actually. I, I, I love this. This makes me very, very happy. Eating this food, sitting by this river, looking at these mountains in the background. That was a thoroughly fantastic lunch experience. So now, it's a bit more of a chilled itinerary today, really. We're going to go off through the mountains and go and explore Accra Town. So we've climbed high into the mountains for this stunning view that you see behind me on the way to Acra Town. 
Now, this view, if Saddam had remained in power, we wouldn't be looking at it like this. It would be one huge lake if he had succeeded in building this dam. Thankfully he didn't, and we get to enjoy this today. You can see all the way out to the snow-capped mountains in the distance. Absolutely stunning. It just looks tiny, just tiny below us. But then this is a land of contrasts, and sadly there's always a dark side just lurking around the corner here. And while you see this stunning view on one side, if I walk simply over the road, don't step past this point, it's an active minefield. Now Saddam knew that there was Peshmerga hiding in the mountains here. He'd already cleared the whole area, basically banning anyone from living in the Bazan region. But the Peshmerga was still hiding in the mountains, of course, it's a strategic position. So Saddam heavily mined the mountains here, and still to this day, there's landmines everywhere. I'm not going to step off the street here for obvious reasons, but yeah, a land of contrasts. This is amazing, you just see for miles, miles and miles. So now I've reached Old Acre. Acre is actually a fairly big town. There's uh, about 150,000 people here, and it's, uh, it's become different neighborhoods now. So this is uh, basically one suburb of uh, Acre now, the old, uh, the old city. And even then, this isn't really, really the old city. When you look up to this hill here, the original city was on top of this hill. And basically, they don't know exactly when, but it was impractical being up there, getting food up there, getting water up there. So at some point, the city started to, well, town, sorry, started to, uh, to move down to occupy the lower land here. And this was the, well, the kind of second phase of Acre. It's really quite beautiful. There's only two mosques in Iraqi Kurdistan that, where they don't know when it was built. This behind me is one of them. They think it probably dates back about a thousand years, but it's not known for sure. The other one is in the citadel in Erbil. Now, the hill up there, gonna be climbing that later. Supposedly it offers some of the best views of old Acre, so uh, we'll also see some... We'll also see it from another angle. But for now, let's get on and explore further. This is the shrine and tomb of Abdulaziz, a famous sheikh who joined with the army of Salahuddin, Caliph of the Islamic Empire. His shrine is visited by tens of thousands of people from across Iraq and neighboring countries. From the viewpoint here, we get a fantastic view of old Acre. And from just the other side of the viewpoint, we can see a view of the new town, the new suburbs. Here we are at Accra's famous selfie point. Nice. <laughs> hey. How do you like Accra? Love it here. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Accra hosts a huge festival every year in March called the No Rose Festival. This is where basically people carry torches after sunset from certain points in the city. There's huge fireworks displays. And where I'm standing now, it'll be pretty much impossible to even get a standing spot. There'd be so many people here. They basically, uh, they go from the, uh, from the church on this hill to the top, one, uh, one bunch of torchbearers. The other ones, they go from uh, the uh, Peshmerga sign up to the flag there. And finally, they walk on the, the far mountain over there. So you see this procession of torch carriers going up the hill, fireworks going off all over the, all over the town. It's always nice to have a view, but I think it's time that we actually head down into the city and see what it's like on the ground. Oh, this is a lovely space.
So this is simply called the Grand Mosque in Acre. And it is uh, certainly grand. It's a lovely building, absolutely lovely building. It's pretty Accra. Lovely views down onto the town everywhere. Quite quiet though, quite sleepy in the market. Not really, uh, not so much life going on. So yeah, just looking out over the city now, having a bit of a walk around. It's, it's charming, it's absolutely charming. I mean, I'm glad just to come here on a, on a partial day trip rather than actually stay here or anything like that. But uh, very nice to see. Really, really different, really attractive. very thankful that we have this car. This is what's allowed us to get down this muddy path here. Supposedly this is going to be one of the best views in a country full of absolutely fantastic views. Is this Kurdistan's best view? It's absolutely beautiful that's for sure but this is a land of just amazing views everywhere. I just, I, I, I often wonder, is there actually anywhere where there's not a nice view? Is there anywhere that's not beautiful? This is just a fantastic place. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've gotten this far, then please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't done already, please subscribe. It'll really help out and keep more videos like this one coming. There'll be a few more coming from Iraqi Kurdistan and the next trips in the works. Hope to see you again next time on the road.